and it's recording. Very photogenic. Oops, you want some slack? There you go. Where are you slack? You just have trouble balancing, huh? Here, let me hold you. There you go. Lost that. Alright. So, this is our American Kestrel. And you can see we're taking him out on a walk through the beautiful Serpentine Barrens, which is very, very nice. And the reason for that is because when we first got him, he was trying to break free. So, we kept on pecking holes in his nice sharp beak right there that you can see. Oh, he's showing it off for you. <laughs> his nice sharp beak was actually uh, hammered down into a little stub. And kids used to think he ate seeds, despite his, uh, his big talons, as you can see. But, um, yeah. Now he's outside and bobbing his head and getting all happy. And I had a feeling something was wrong when he was trying to break free. Um, and uh, it ended up he just kind of wanted to go outside. When we took him out for a photo shoot one day, um, he was just happy as a clam, bobbing his head around curiously, checking things out. And um, very calm on the glove. He used to bait constantly, which means he used to flap around, hang upside down. Um, but when he was outside, he was very calm. Of course, the minute he knew he was going back to his mew, he got a little upset. So I realized maybe he just wants to go outside. So I started taking him on walks. I also switched, uh, the normally what we used to use was a thick glove because we just weren't thinking about his tiny little feet and he has some trouble balancing. Yeah, I see ya. <laughs> so he has some trouble balancing sometimes. So we use this special thin glove. It's super, super thin. Um, he doesn't clamp down hard. I'm not even holding on to his jesses. He's, yes, I know, your jesses. And so uh, I don't even hold on to them. And uh, yeah, he's very happy now that we've, uh, we, you, we started taking him out, you know, twice a week um, to go look outside at the beautiful Serpentine Barrens that kind of emulates his own habitat out in the fields. There's actually a wild couple that lives here. And um, he seems to really enjoy himself. And, you know, whereas he would attack people's boots and flap all the time and killy going like, rah, 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 really, really loud, which means he's upset. He doesn't do that anymore. He does that little chitter that you just heard, which means, means he's happy. And uh, yeah, he's been very calm just by bringing him out on walks. Yeah, right? Yes. <laughs> so that is our American Kestrel. We do enrichment with all the other birds. And he's my favorite. And we love taking him out to do enrichment. And so if you ever have a falcon that's having some trouble getting a little antsy, uh, just like our Kestrel was, then maybe taking him on a walk would help. And so, yep, yeah, that's the story of me and my Kestrel. And he's the man. He's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, say bye, Mr. Kestrel. Say bye, little buddy. Little buddy. Say bye. Say bye. Bye.